Hi, let's start out standing today. Hiya. I want you to begin with your feet parallel, hip width apart, fingers laced together. Let's go arms like this. I'm going to give you a front view first, but I'll turn to the side to show you what's happening in this exercise. All right, we're going to start with a small rotation, three pulses. Turn to the left for three and two and one. As you come to the middle, you're going to do a squat, round your spine into flexion, and reach your arms forward. Let's go to the other side. So we'll come back up. You're going to inhale three, two, one. Use your exhale to make that cat stretch and the squat. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, flex forward. So about that side view. We're rotating three, two, one. One, as you squat, we're going to tuck the tail, flex the full spine, and inhale for three. Looking over the shoulder, and one, put the weight in the heels around the spine. Spiral up, three, two, one, and exhale to flex. Come on back up. Now pose your hands above your head. I've got my palms facing the top of my head. I'm going to do an inhale breath, lift the chest and chin, and open the arms. When you exhale, you're going to repeat the pulse twist with your hands over your head. Three, two, one. Inhale to center. Open the arms. Lace them together. Slightly bend the elbows. Two, three. Inhale up. Side view. Exhale for three. Ring it out. Two, one. Yes, the breathing is backwards from the other one. And exhale. Three, two, one. Take the top off and open. One more to each side for three, two. Slide down those shoulder blades. Inhale up one more time, three and two and one. Inhale up. Lace those fingers back together. Arms can be long or slightly bent. Go into a sway side to side. You know, I gave you that choice. Sometimes it's like pick one, see if you like it better. Maybe notice the difference between the two. Like I favored the more slightly bent arms, but now just pick the other one and just see how the change of arms affects where you feel the stretch, how tall you feel in your posture, stuff like that. All right, let your arms come on down. Before we get down to the floor work, we're gonna do a moving lunge. Let's keep your right leg planted as the stationary leg, and you're gonna take a step, bending both knees to make a little lunge. Come back to stand, do that at another angle. I said both knees will bend. They don't have to because you're going to make every single lunge different. Picking a slightly different angle, so sometimes just a side lunge, doesn't need both bent. And you could try bending to the side with them both bent. Totally different effect. Oh, I feel a little babbly. I'm just going to watch myself. I sense some over talking coming on. We're going to do four more on this side. Pace can be different on each rep. I said it was four, but now I'm going to do five because I did two too fast. Switch legs. All right, plant in your foot and just take the step. So playing around with the speed could mean I shorten, right? I make a quick move, little step, or it could mean I go real slow with a lot of time floating in the air before I switch directions. Let's do three more of those. Feel free to pivot on that stationary leg. All right, done with that. Let's go down to the floor. Uh, when you lay down, knees bent, leave a little space in between your feet. Heels pretty close to your hips. We're gonna do a bridge and then roll down. When you exhale, lift your hips straight up, which will create a little stretch in the front of your hip joint. And then as you inhale, roll down one vertebra at a time, which hopefully will create a stretch along those long spinal muscles. As you exhale, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings to lift your hips up. Inhale into your back, melt down. So we're coming through flexion, pelvis is tucked, and then has to unravel back to neutral before you go again. Exhale, press into your big toes, lift your hips. Inhale, roll back down. One more time, when you lift your hips, push the weight into those big toes so the knees reach away and roll back down. Now stay with the bridge style of movement and we're gonna do some pulses. When you exhale, lift up to that full bridge to start. 
as you inhale, come down most of the way and then pulse up for three, two, one. Inhale, lower most of the way. And again, pulse up three, two, get the weight into those big toes. Inhale, lower back down. Two more sets. Pulse up higher, higher. Find that nice sweet spot with your hips open. Inhale, lower back down. Last one. Press up one, two, three. Hold there to breathe in. Let's do the roll down again. One bone at a time. Okay, take one foot, place it on top of your other thigh. If that doesn't work for you, go to ankle crossed. But if you can, let's work with that knee at the midline. Push your top foot onto the bottom leg and then press into your arms and lift your hips up. Inhale to come straight down. Oh, straight bridges the whole time. Exhale, lift up to bridge. Inhale to lower. Two more on this side. And then back down. One more time. Exhale up and inhale down. Let's switch legs. All right, foot on thigh. Try to draw that knee in towards the midline. As you exhale, lift your hip. Take that working knee, reach it away from the shoulder. Inhale to come back down. Exhale as you lift your hips up to bridge and inhale to lower. Exhale up, lower down. One more time. Exhale, lift, lower back down. All right, take that foot off. Let's take your arms up to the ceiling with your palms facing in. Let's just real quick, small motion of your shoulder blades. I want you to lift your arms up a little bit higher so your shoulder blades spread apart. You'll feel a little stretch of the muscles between the blades. As you exhale, pull your shoulder blades back, create just a little pinch so we're flattening them into the mat. Reach up again as you breathe in and then draw the shoulders back. Try to keep the seam space between the arms as they slide up and down, just like a sawing action. One more time that way. And now same size motion, but alternate your arms. So you're just lifting up that one arm, protracting the shoulder blade, and as you pull it back, reaching the other one up. Okay, so your emphasis is still the gliding action of your shoulder blade along your ribs. But if you try to make the range of motion just a little bit more, you can feel those muscles start to pull the ribs into the twist. Let's do one more on each side. And then relax but don't relax those arms down. They're gonna stay there. Let's do a set of toe taps. Rock into imprint when you exhale, and then lift one leg when you breathe in. Start your exhale to make sure you're still in a good imprint, and lift up your second leg. All right, stay there for a breath in. When you exhale, lower one leg and tap your toes on the mat. Inhale as you lift your leg back up. Exhale, tap your toes down, and inhale as you lift. Every time you start the breath, we want to focus on the core first. And I'm saying the core to be vague on purpose. I want you to focus on maintaining stability around your torso. The connection you initially made, drawing your hips to your ribs. Now we've got that horizontal element of support, the little suspenders. And one more time on the other side, exhale down and up. Now you're going to take your first foot down for good. Keep holding that imprint, take your second leg down. Now rock out of imprint. Well, I got these arms in the air. Let's make a circle. Reach overhead as you breathe in. Exhale, circle around to your hips. Inhale, lift up and overhead. And then exhale around to your sides. Breathe in, reach back. And exhale around. Let's reverse it. Inhale out to the sides and overhead. Exhale, lift your arms and return to your hips. Big inhale to circle. Exhale, lift and lower down. One more time, inhale and then lift and lower back down. Let's do the 100. I'm gonna talk you into the full 100. You can leave your legs in tabletop, you can keep your feet on the ground, and if your neck gets tired, you can keep your head on the ground. Take an exhale, rock back into that imprint again. Lift up one leg as you breathe in, use your breath again. Exhale, draw the abs in a little, bring up your second leg. Stay here for a breath in. When you exhale, tip your chin down, curl up your head and shoulders, look at your legs. Let's start bouncing the arms. Inhale for five, two, one. You can add those straight legs if you'd like to. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Compress those abs with your breath. 
Inhale, two, three, four, five. Keep heavy shoulders as you're bouncing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and gazing at your fives. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Can you feel your pelvic floor working with the breath? Two, three, four, five, and exhale. So it's another diaphragm. It'll soften a bit as you inhale and rise a little as you exhale, matching the drop of the diaphragm and the lift on the exhale. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. That's the most conversation I've had during the 100. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Got two more sets. Four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, last 10. Let's curl up a little higher. Four, five, tuck your knees in. Drop your head, knees to chest. Release your feet to the ground. I would say that was like such a heroic move to have a conversation, but there's like no students here. <laughs> it wasn't like monitoring anything. Ah, but I can speak in a five count rhythm. All right, uh, here we are on your bellies. Legs are gonna be parallel, Doop. They can be together or slightly separated. Let's take a W shape with your arms and we're just gonna start setting up your breaststroke prep for size, feel out the basics and then we can increase, uh, excuse me, the challenge on your upper back. So begin in a hover. When you breathe in, I want you to lift your gaze to start moving your head. Then you're going to press into your forearms and lift your chest away from the mat until just one or two ribs are left touching the floor. Now, we're going to stay here a little longer than usual. What is the effect on your low back right now? Like, just get a baseline. Does it feel like that's what's lifting you? Is it very tense? Does it hurt? Do you feel nothing there? And let's see if we can change what we first observe in the low back. So if you take your pubic bone, and rock your pelvis to push your pubic bone down just a little bit. That should kick in a little more engagement with your glutes to stabilize your pelvis. Then, what happens when you reach the crown of your head forward and up a little bit more? And you might have to kind of push in your arms to create that. So the glute doing that little tuck, head pulling away, and then press your chest forward more. Hopefully that last bit has now moved a little more work up your back to the mid and upper back muscles. This is the effect we want when we rise in the first place. So let's see if we can lower down real slow, still thinking of getting longer, pulling your head away from your toes. So I'm tractioning and dropping. And let's see if I can find that right away when I come up. So now you're gonna breathe in, reach the top of your head away from your toes as you lift your gaze. Pull your shoulder blades back, but push your chest forward as you lift. Stay at the top for just a split second. Pull away, pull away, and lower back down. Let's just try that one more time. Reach your ears away from your shoulders. Open the collarbones by pulling the shoulder blades back. Pull the abs in. Push that pubic bone down. And then sink back down one bone at a time. Okay. Second phase, we're going to go from that lift as the starting position. So come on up. Superhero flying when you exhale. Lower back down into a hover, but take your arms off the mat, reach overhead so you feel like you're flying. Then inhale, lift your head and chest, push into your forearms and extend. Exhale, draw your abs and knit your ribs together. Take it to that low hover and inhale as you lift back up. Exhale, compress the abs, try to make a nice straight, low, long line. Inhale up, one more time. Exhale down, knitting those ribs. And inhale as you lift. All right, come on down again. Leave those arms there. Now open your legs a little wider. Turn your toes out. We're gonna go into a swan dive. I also, just like for variety, I'm gonna tuck my elbows down a little bit lower. You can do that too if you wanna just change the font of your W for a different effect, why not? All right, going up and down a couple times in that swan. I want you to lift up your head and your chest. Pull your abs in. Let's press into that pubic bone again to get that same sense of your glutes. When you get to the top, you can use your same tricks. Shoulder blades together, chest forward, heads reaching up to the ceiling. Now when you lower back down, bend your elbows so you're using your arms for support. We can still imagine traction, like there's a rolling pin running up your body. You're a piece of dough. We're getting smushed into a nice, long, flat line. And again, lifting up your head and chest. Pull your shoulders back. Squeeze those glutes. And with the heels of my hands, I feel like I'm sliding my hands away from me, but I'm not really. And then when I come back down, you want to feel like you're pulling the heels of your hands toward your feet. Isometrically, of course. And lower back down. 
One more time, pushing yourself up, head and chest lift, linger at the top, sense it, and roll back down. Okay, from there, you're gonna sit back into shell stretch, hips onto your heels. Just take a breath in and out. When you breathe in, let the breath go into your back so you can feel a big expansion in all those back muscles you just worked. Ah, yes. Exhale, pull your abs in. And when you compress your abs in this position, you may feel a little broadening or stretching, opening, whatever, of your low back. Take one more breath in. Roll on up. We're going to set up for half roll back next. Okay. So you're going to begin sitting. Your feet can be flat, or you can walk your feet out a little bit if your knees feel right up in your face, and then just take your toes off the mat. Try to align your body so you're sitting right on your sit bones. If you want to put a cushion under your hips to get a little higher, that might relieve tension in the hip flexors. Reach your arms forward at chest height. Stay on the sit bones and curl your upper body forward over your knees. All right, let's start with the basic move. Roll your hips back when you exhale, drawing your abs in and tucking your, ta your tailbone, pubic bone up, and then dive forward on your inhale. Exhale as you roll back, sliding your shoulders down out of your ears, and then inhale, dive forward towards the legs. Exhale as you roll down, and inhale up and over. Exhale, roll back, and then inhale towards your legs. Two more like this, roll down. Inhale forward, one more time, roll back, and forward again. Sit up tall, let's add a little oblique rotation to it. Always start from vertical and come back to vertical. You're gonna swing one arm down as you roll back to create the rotation, and then turn to the front, sit back up on your inhale. Exhale, roll back, rotate, and then inhale to lift. Although I don't always think of this as a chest stretch, if you have the strength in the lower body, both the glutes and the abs, to hold your position, and you can really emphasize both arms getting wider, you will feel that expansion right across the chest. And up, one more to each side. Look towards that back hand as it reaches out. Inhale up, last one, roll back, reach, and inhale up. Now place your hands down on the floor behind you. Uh, Best angle is probably 45 degrees out to the side or a little bit more. Bring your feet in a little bit. <laughs> We're going to do a bridge supported on your arms to set up a set of tricep dips. Tricep dips can be done with your hips down. And I could just lean back and up bending the elbows. Okay, so if you do not like this on your wrists when we try the other version, that's your backup plan. Now, do put some weight into your hands, roll your hips up, and just feel what it's like when you get to about the height of your knees. You're going to feel a stretch through the front of your arms, and then roll back down. Just do that one more time, which we will use it as a stretch. I want you to push the weight into your feet a little bit. That's what opens up the shoulder, and then roll back down. Now, when I do the tricep dip, I want to stay off of that as the peak, but let's go to it one more time. Roll up to your bridge, and now come down about halfway. All right, so you can kind of change that angle, get a little bit more weight over your legs, feel I'm rocking, get there. And then you're going to bend the elbows till your butt taps the floor. Inhale to come back up. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, lift. If you imagine yourself like a turtle, you are always trying to pop out of your shell. Okay, so as you lower your body, the inclination is to smush. That's what the muscles are asking you to do. So you're going to have to work for that long neck, slide those shoulders down, and push up three more times. Dipping and lifting, two, and up. One more time, and up. Lower your hips back down. Okay, switch to sitting with your legs out in front of you. Just do a quick wristy because we have to go back on your wristies. Set up for a runner stretch. You're going to bend one knee with your foot against your inner thigh. Uh, both arms are by your sides. We're going to do a combo. Runner stretch, side bend. Take the arm from the bent knee side, draw a big rainbow, and round forward towards your foot. Let's do another rainbow and bring your hand to the floor. You're going to pivot onto your knee, lift up and go into a big side bend, and then lower back down to the mat. Take your first arm up and over, bow towards the foot, rainbow again, lift your hips, side bend. 
and then back down. First arm up and over. Rainbow. Lift your hips. Side bend. And then back down. Switch legs. All right, from your bent knee side, arm goes up. You're going to bow forward towards your foot. Make a big rainbow. Lift your hips. Side bend stretch. And then back down. Let's go to that first arm. Up and over. Bow down towards your foot. Big rainbow again. Lift your hips. Side bend. Let your head fall. And drop. One more of each. Bow towards the legs. Scoop those abs and stretch the hamstrings. Big rainbow. Hips up. Side bend stretch. And then back down. All right. From here, we're going to do a little rolling like a ball. Uh, at the end of the set, I'm going to party trick this and invite you to try using your last rep to stand up. If that seems kooky pants to you or you want to do an extra rep, watch me while you see what's coming. Uh, you can just get up any way that's safe for you. All right. Sorry to give away the punchline before we start. It needed. I want to make sure you have clearance and stuff so you like crashing into the wall. All right. Uh, setting up that rolling like a ball will feel like you're half roll back. You're going to rock the pelvis back to your off your sit bones, which brings you into that initial flexion of your spine. What am I doing behind me there? All right. Take one leg up at a time to tabletop. Any of my clients that have been my clients like since forever, does it make you cringe when I do this exercise with no mat? Because here it goes. But I'm not going to smack my head on the wall. It looks like that in the camera. Okay. Uh -huh. You're going to press your shins into your hands, your hands into your shins. Round your upper spine so you're looking at your thighs. Squeeze your inner thighs together. As you inhale, roll your pelvis back, round down to your shoulder blades, and then curl back up on the exhale and find your balance. Inhale, roll back, sequencing through each bone of the spine, and exhale to lift. I will admit if you are one of those clients, I can tell you doing it here on the hardwood floor is definitely worse than at the studio. The laminate and that little bit of cush, you definitely can feel it. It's like in a princess in the P way, but opposite. I can feel the niceness of it. <laughs> this is a little less forgiving. Two more times. That means the grand finale is coming if you're going for it. So it, actually, let's make it two more starting now so I can tell you, if you were going to try to come up on your feet, the key is to get your feet very close to your butt. So here, I'm going to do it on this one, rolling back. So I'm going to tuck those feet in, shift the weight, and then come up to stand. Give it a try. Join me when you're ready, upright. All right, now let's get our land legs back under us. Back to a parallel, feet hip width apart. I'm going to have you keep your weight in your heels and do a squat, reaching your arms forward at chest height. Rise back up to stand. Now lift your heels, balance on the balls of the feet, and take the arms overhead. Lower your heels. Let's alternate. Give me a squat, arms at chest height. Stand up tall. Now lift your heels, reach your arms up, and lower. When you squat, hips go back in space. Stand up tall. Lift your heels. Drop back down. And squat to stand. Heels lift and lower. Squat to stand. Heels up and down three more times. Squat, stand, lift, lower. And two. Stand, lift, lower one more time. Squat to stand, lift, and drop. All right. Last but not least, E. Uh, side lunge. We're going to do another balance exercise. When we start a side lunge, you go hands here, and go arms out to the side, whichever helps you balance more. Maybe even to this. Take your side lunge and then just step back so your legs are even. So you're gonna side lunge over. I'm keeping my back straight, but I am hinging a little bit. That's gonna give you a little openness through that thigh. All right, now I'm gonna go from that side lunge and I'm gonna try to balance on one foot. So this is where you might decide you want something different with the arms. Maybe that helps you. This, because it's tighter, can't use my arms, that's more challenging. Okay, and this is kind of, you're in the middle. We need those like wings. <laughs> Don't do any of those weird things I'm doing, if you'd like to have good balance. <laughs> ah, two more. I'm using it to mask <laughs> my poor balance last one. 
and up. All right. <laughs> Before you go into the balance, let's try that side lunge the other way and then step in. Lunge over and in and up. Two more of this style. Really work for that stretch. Nice big wide step. Shift and up. All right, let's add your balance. So we go from that side lunge. <laughs> Try to balance. Out wide. The lower we go with the foot, the easier it's going to be to balance. Higher we go, more challenging it should be. I don't always feel that to be true. Oh, sorry for that in your ears. We do that. We could do this. Act like we don't care. Everything's so easy. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> uh, I hope you're not even looking at the screen anymore. If he does, what's good for you? But um, bah, we're done. All right. Thanks for playing today. This was a weird one. Who knows what we're gonna call it? I'll see you soon.